Have you ever found yourself thinking, why don't we just toss all our trash into volcanoes? I mean, if you've ever played Minecraft, then you might already be familiar with the concept of dropping stuff you don't need into lava and never having to worry about it again. Sounds too good to be true, doesn't it? Well, you've probably already guessed it, but as so often, things are not as simple as they seem on the first glance. Here's the thing, we generate an insane amount of trash every year. Take the United States, for example. Americans throw away about 239 million tons of garbage annually. So, yeah, finding a way to get rid of all that would be pretty great, and tossing it into a volcano sounds like a solid solution, right? It feels almost like a cheat code to solving the trash problem, but it's not as simple as it seems, not even close. The first issue we'd face is, well, actually finding a volcano that can handle all that garbage. There are only around 1,500 active volcanoes on Earth, and many of them are tucked away in remote areas, far from where people actually live. So getting our trash to one of those volcanoes would be a logistical nightmare. But let's pretend we get that part sorted. We load up all our trash and head to the nearest volcano. What's next? Well, not all volcanoes are created equal. You'd need a very specific kind to even think about this idea. What we're looking for is a shield volcano. These are the ones with those iconic lava lakes and slow, steady eruptions. The problem is, shield volcanoes are relatively rare. But for the sake of this thought experiment, let's assume we somehow manage to find ourselves a nice, docile shield volcano. You'd think the hardest part is over, right? But nope. If you're one of the brave souls tasked with delivering the trash to the volcano, get ready for some serious danger. The environment around a volcano is no joke. Poisonous gases, flying rocks, and boiling hot lava. It's the kind of place you don't want to be hauling a truckload of trash. And when it's time to dump it in, let's just say things get a bit tricky. Back in 2002, a group of researchers threw a small bag of trash into a volcano in Ethiopia. And what happened next was not exactly expected. Lava lakes, it turns out, are pretty unstable. When something cold like trash lands in them, it triggers a chain reaction pressurized steam builds up, and suddenly, you've got an eruption of acidic gases and molten rock. So, just imagine what might happen if we dumped an entire country's worth of waste. We could end up with a volcano literally spitting trash all over the place. And that's not even the worst of it. Even if we somehow avoid an eruption, we've still got to deal with the fact that not all trash breaks down in lava. Metals and other materials might just sit in the lava, only to be blasted out later on. Plus, let's not forget that burning trash releases a ton of harmful pollutants into the atmosphere. So instead of solving the trash problem, we might just make the pollution crisis a whole lot worse. And shipping all this trash to remote volcanoes? Yeah, that's going to generate a massive carbon footprint. The emissions from hauling trash across countries would pretty much defeat the purpose of trying to reduce waste in the first place. So, while tossing trash into volcanoes might sound like a good way to get rid of it all, the reality is much messier. If we're really looking to get rid of waste, maybe we should stick with recycling or exploring better ways to convert waste into usable energy. Or, you know, we could always just shoot it all into space. If you're interested in why that wouldn't be a good idea either, let me know in the comments. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching and subscribe for similar videos in the future. Hope to see you around!